I'm currently on the roof. I'm trying to figure out what neighbor it was the other night that literally started a problem. I mean, we got a house there, houses over there, houses over there. I know it definitely wasn't Mike because Mike's cool, and I know it was in the Jazz Cop family because they're cool as well. I'm trying to figure out this situation uh, before it gets worse. I mean, if my neighbor wants war, they're gonna get war. I mean, we're good at that stuff. But anyway, good morning, Saxon family. How are you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face, and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the daily vlog. If you're not yet subscribed and part of the family, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on any videos that I post here on my channel. So if you guys saw yesterday's vlog, I was telling you about something that I'm working on, this top secret project. Let's just say if everything goes right and goes according to plan, this top secret project slash video will be out probably this weekend or next week I have to like order some like things for this like props and stuff and costumes and uh, let's just say it's gonna be very cringe but very funny it's one of those videos where it's like you gotta have it be cringy but funny at the same time so I'm very excited for it I have some friends that are down to be in it and uh, let's just say it might be a song I don't did I, did I just give away too much information hold on here the ice cream man there we go Ice cream for ice cream! But on a serious note, back to the whole entire neighbor situation, my mom and stepdad don't really know about it just yet, so I think I have to inform my mom about the neighbor situation. Mom, wake up. Well, I'm kind of sorry to wake you up, but there's something serious you and I have to talk about right now. I want to talk about my nap. Well, how's your nap? Not long enough because you're waking me up. Well, listen, you can take a nap after we talk about something, so... We have a problem with one of our neighbors, and no, it's not Mike. Uh, even though what he did for my birthday was kind of cruel, because I thought yeah. I was getting a segue. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, well, listen, we actually have a problem with one of our neighbors. I don't know which one it is, but uh, the other night, I was outside with Jake, and we were just talking. He was getting ready to leave. Kid across the street decided to start shooting off some fireworks. And uh, oh, so that wasn't you. No, that was not me because you know we ran ahead of the fireworks. And it but, was really late. Well, it was like 10:30 at night, which isn't late at all. But then what happened next was this lady came out of nowhere while Jake and I were just talking because he was getting ready to leave, and she just started yelling at Jake and I, accusing us Whoa. of setting off the fireworks. And I was like, oh. "Ma'am, it wasn't us." Like she came over already heating, yelling at me and Jake. And I'm like, "Ma'am, calm down." And she came on our property, got in mine and Jake's face, yelling. And uh, I was wondering, could we charge her for trespassing if we were to see her again? If she comes on the property, not invited, yes. Okay, cool, because she got in my face, she got in Jake's face, and she was yelling at us, accusing us of setting everything off. And on top of that, she said she called the cops. Did she? No, you want to know what I did? Because I was like, I said to her, I said, go ahead, ma'am. Guess what? I'm friends with almost every single cop in this town. And when I show them, like, the security cam footage of you being on our property, guess what? We could charge you for trespassing. And uh, then she just kind of walked away. Well, but good news is cops never showed up because I had my scanner on. So, so she never called. Though. So she never called. And uh, sorry to my police friends that watched this video. I love you guys. Uh, but yeah, crazy neighbors, right? Right. I'm pretty sure I'd be right in this situation. Right? Right, guys? So uh, is she going to be a pain every time? Oh, yeah. So, she's, night so she declared out? war. By the way, she said anytime you guys are having fireworks or like we do fireworks, which we're not because once a year. which was once. Well, we did two nights in a row because we were celebrating my birthday, A, and B, we're having the party the next night. So not a problem. Uh, so, yes, she declared war because all we do is we party and have good times and she's going to call 911 anytime we're outside having a party or having a bonfire in the backyard. And I turned to her. I was like, ma'am, uh. My fires in my backyard are legal because we have an open burn permit, which you need in the state of New Jersey. So there's nothing you can do. And, and you're a firefighter. Exactly. And, and but all but the firefighters are coming up. Yeah, whatever. But on top of that, the lady was saying like, "Well, you guys are just making too much noise." And I'm like, "I don't even know what house she lives in. It can't be the new neighbors. Don't know if it's them, them, them. Well, that person's well, very, very old." What they kind of look like, do you know? They kind of look like one of those people that have, can I speak with a manager haircut? Like short hair, like down to there, kind of like blonde, darkish hair. Skinny. Skinny. Kind of somewhat like, okay tallish, I guess you can say. Oh, I have a feeling I know who it is. Oh, you do? 
Which house? Unless they made it a two story. Okay, there's a couple two stories, but is it down the road or right next door? Down the road. Okay. Um, well, if they declared war, guess what, Mom? We're going to war. Oh, um. Yeah, that's the only person I can think of because we always have company. It's Friday night. It's I mean, it's Friday. Haters club. It's Friday night. We're people that have lives and we actually enjoy living our lives. And we like, like being with friends and yeah. family, and that's what happens on Fridays. Friends like, and family. I don't get how somebody could just be so stuck up and so miserable, especially like at 10 30 at night. Like, yo, it's the weekend. Everybody's just trying to have a good time and live life. I don't know, like. So, I figured I'd just let you know we have a war right. going on so, now. every Friday night she's going to probably call the police on us. Which, you know, it's going to, everybody's going to realize, especially the police, that she's a wacko. Great, so... Hey, it wasn't my fault. I was just outside yeah. saying goodbye to my friend and the kid across the street was shooting off the fireworks. I you know, it's, it is what it is, but it's going to be annoying. Yeah. Because... Well, they're going to show up, they're going to be like, oh, you guys are doing nothing wrong. And then they're just going to leave. And they could get, she could keep calling to the point where she's basically just uh, a nuisance to them. Nuisance to them, which then I believe she could get a ticket for. So, for us, it's a win-win right now because, oh, you know what? I got a perfect idea, Mom. And uh, same with you guys. How about we just be those neighbors that make that neighbor move away? Yeah. Boom. We've, we've lived here longer. Right? Isn't that how it works, guys? Like, you make neighbors just move if they're the ones being a-holes to people. Like, the crazy people, you're the ones that make them move just so they get out of here. I don't know. Would that work? I think it's gonna work. Mm, I think it is. I think it might. We've been here 15 years. And Holy! 15 years? Mm -hmm. Jesus, I'm getting old. Yeah, we've been here 15 and... Oh my god. <sighs> We've had so many neighbors come and go. That those neighbors there need to disappear. Move. Mm, well. Because I remember the house behind us, it was like that guy Dave, and then it was Mr. Bond, literally Mr. Bond from middle school, the teacher, mm -hmm. not James Bond, and then well, the old was, lady there. <laughs> well, you know what I mean, but... All right, so I figured I'd just give you the news and update right. on that situation. Can I go back to my nap? Uh, sure. I'm oh, uh, I'm gonna blast something. Let me know later if like it sounds good or not. I mean, it's part of a secret project I'm working on with uh, some friends. You probably heard it being blasted throughout the time. I like have, today. and I kind of chuckled when I went upstairs. Why is it good? It or is just, it cringe? It was just funny. I'm like, oh, sugar. Yes. That means my mom likes exactly what we're going to be putting out, so thanks, mom. Uh, that, that's a good thing. Um, bad thing is, though, we got crazy, psychotic, uh, bleep neighbors, right, aka that one person. Good night, Saxon family. I go back. Mom, it's only 4.35 o'clock. I'm tired. I'm Are you going to get mad if I go outside and I'm talking to my friends in the front yard on our property like that lady? Oh, no, never mind. No. Okay, good. I was going to say, if you're just like that lady. I'm just tired. Oh, you know what? I got an idea. Why don't we get all the neighbors we like and that like us just to start making noise every single night to drive them insane. Boom. Just Friday nights, everybody. Running here is a good time. Hey, that's what the neighborhood's supposed to be, is having a good time, enjoying your life. All right, thanks, Mom. I got to get back to my secret project, so. So in the beginning of this vlog, I may have mentioned that I am working on a secret project that I also mentioned in yesterday's vlog, but I may have slipped today and told you guys that I'm working on a song. Now, I'm doing a remix to a song, so I want you guys to guess what song that I'm doing a remix down below in the comment section. I'm going to have possibly one or two features on there. I, I think one of them is probably Jake Duffner, and then there might be a surprise feature. i got to work things out. Uh, if I get this one, it's going to be a huge surprise for everybody. I'm, I'm honestly looking forward for this song slash remix to come out, because I think you guys will enjoy it. Even though I find it very cringe, I find it like that cringe, kind of like meme-worthy kind of funny cringe. And uh, don't worry, like I got everything opened up right back there for the recording software. I'm honestly, I've been blasting it all day, and to be honest with you guys, I've been having fun with it. Like I'm legit just having fun with the lyrics and stuff that I've been having to like tweak around and rewrite. And uh, I sent Jake, aka the other person who uh, is probably going to be featured on the song, um, the section that like I need him to redo for that first. 
and I'm just like really so far happy with how it sounds and guys I'm just I'm so excited so look forward for that to possibly next maybe this weekend maybe next week uh, early next week depending on how everything goes I gotta try getting that second person uh, for the feature to come on because that would just make the whole video ten times better oh shoot did I say video yeah, there's going to be a music video for this song as well. And on top of that, I've been working all day on trying to get everything for Spotify set up. So we're going to be on Spotify for those that if you end up enjoying the song or you just want to listen to a song that you find funny, uh, it's going to be on Spotify by the time hopefully the music video itself is out. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video today. Not much going on. I hope you guys did have a fantastic day. Kept the smile on your face. Until next time, it's been your boy Jeff. Keeping it real. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. And well, peace. <laughs>